Uh, welcome again to the Franklin scene. I'm here today with Dr. James Henry Snyder. Uh, you're the executive director or president yeah. of the uh, of the Sim Historical Society. Historical Society here in Simpson County. And so thank you very much for being here. And thank you. Tell us what's new. Uh, well, we've had lots going on this summer uh, since the 1st of June. I know we've had visitors from at least 28 different states. 28, you're kidding. And some from Poland, South Africa, and Italy, and I'm thinking maybe another country or two. Plus, we've had a lot of local people, and you know we're glad to have the visitors, but we're also glad to have locals. Right. Uh, locals come in to do some of their family history. Some come in just to look around and see the museum items, and uh, but others come to do family history and research. We have Ancestry.com for free use on the computers, and Fold3, which is military, and newspapers.com, you can research the last hundred years of Franklin favorites and it's searchable. So we get a lot of people that want to come and do that kind of stuff okay. or they come and ask questions about their property or their houses and sometimes we can answer the questions and then other times we can't. Now is this something people need to call ahead? Can they just walk in? You usually just show yeah. up. We're open Tuesday through Fridays from 9 to 4 and Saturdays from 9 to 2. And okay. it's better not to come in at five to four and expect <laughs> to do two hours worth of research. But, no, that's probably a good uh, idea not to do that. We, we have some that will send messages over Facebook or email and ask questions. And if we can answer them, we do. Sure. And, you know, if we have to spend lots of extra hours doing something on our own, we may charge. But if they come in here to work, we don't charge them anything to help them. Okay. And we try that's, to find what we can find. And, that's good information. I know there's a lot of people moving here. Uh, from, especially from Tennessee, oh, yes. and I know the new jobs being created around Bowling Green, Franklin area, that uh, there's people from all over are moving here. So do you have to be from Simpson County to look up oh, the no. uh, Ancestry? No, no, no. In fact, on Ancestry, since that's worldwide, you know, a lot of people can mm -hmm. find a lot of different things on it. Now, as far as in our research area, we've got more Simpson County, more other counties in Kentucky. We've got neighboring Tennessee counties, and we've got a few books from other states. I know there's some from Virginia and Pennsylvania, and I know we've got some books on Texas, but I'm not sure any of them are genealogy. <laughs> right. But as okay. far as the computer, yeah, they can use, use that. And then we have family files and research files. I had a man from Louisville last week that spent quite a bit of time, most all day, researching. He was kin to some of the Duncans and some of the Groveses. And, okay. uh, and part of it was interesting because he had those names and he was kin, but it had actually started where maybe his ancestors had been slaves to some of those people. Wow. So that makes the research even more difficult, but right, you know, he was finding right. some information. And I think before we left, we decided we were cousins. <laughs> uh, well, we all are in yeah, some sense, yeah, aren't yeah, we? Yeah. Uh, but we didn't have to go all the way back to Noah or Adam. We were, right. fi we were finding it closer now, than Now, something I noticed, uh, uh, some pictures. We were talking earlier about the different class pictures from Franklin High School, but I also noticed Lincoln High School. I, I'm not familiar with Lincoln High School. Tell, tell the people. Lin Lincoln, Lincoln was actually the, the, the black school from, I think it was from 1940 to 1965. And they actually, I think, had grades 1 through 12. Okay. Uh, so it didn't start till 1940. No, no. There was another school up here on East Madison Street, West Madison Street, uh, that's still there that was used, I think, as the at Black mm -hmm. or the African American school up to a point until 1940. And then they built oh, the, then they built the, the Lincoln big school. Lincoln School. And so they graduated their last class, I think, in 65 when they went did total integration. And then it ended up becoming part of the school system, and it's still being used as an elementary right. school. Well, that says a lot about today. Sampson County as far as integrating the school system in 1965. I know where I went to school, it wasn't until the mid-70s oh. until the school was integrated. Well, I think uh, we gave them an option. and I think they had an option, maybe the high school for a couple of years and the elementary for a year, that they could switch if they wanted to. Right. Because I know in my sixth grade class, I think we had four kids that had come to Franklin Elementary. 
Right. And I don't ever remember there being any kind of a problem. Of course, I was seeing it mm -hmm. from my side, not their side. Right. But, you know, I felt like they just fit in. And mm -hmm. I know when I went to seventh grade was when it was mandated. But that's also when the four county elementary schools came in. So I, I kind of remember we had all these people coming in at once. And I, I, I just thought they were all new kids. I don't I, remember thinking much about it. See, that's, that's a lot of history there that, you know, I think a lot of people would find interesting. Now, what's, what else is new here? Well, and, and while you're on the school system, see, we had Franklin High School right. that was uh, – originally part of the building that was behind Franklin Elementary and then when the female college quit and I think about 1917 they closed their doors and they gave their property to the Franklin school system so Franklin High School moved up on the hill where the female college was which is where the middle school is now mm -hmm. and then in 1940 the county schools the county high schools like Middleton Barnes maybe Round Pond came together and started Simpson County High School, which was down here on the hill across of, from where Wendy's used to be. Right, The building right, right. still being there. And that was Simpson County High School, which operated for four years. Right. And then Franklin and Simpson got together and made Franklin Simpson okay. uh, High School, which was probably one of the smartest moves they could have done because it put, helped put the city and the county together and kept us from being separate and we right. were all one school system, so we became all one school system in 1944. Wow. And so we've got the, a lot of those pictures. One of the principals was gonna throw some of them away and send them to the dump, and they got salvaged for the most part. We're still missing a few uh, that I keep hoping somebody will say, I've got that in my attic, do you want it? And I did have one guy said he had the 1954 one hanging in his shop. And, wow. and he brought it down here and he said, you all need it more than I do. And so we added it to the collection. And a lot of people look, they don't always see their picture, but they do see their parents' right. pictures or their grandparents' pictures. Right. Though a few have, I noticed the 57 went on the wall here and 59, and one of those actually had their class reunion in here this summer, so earlier this year. So. Uh, that's a pretty we, long class <coughs> about 70 years that that's it's close to it yeah so we've had several and and we've had the class of 73 just had their 50th anniversary uh -huh. and they met over here at the cornerstone building but the some of them set up a display here with a lot of their elementary pictures and high school pictures and so we had a display going on in, in the meeting room here I and that, that a lot of their kids i guess at least 60 people came over to just to see that display. And well, you were talking about, you know, people at college and said, I got this picture or that picture. Yeah. And that was leading into my question about, you know, how often do you get something new and how do people actually go about I, saying, hey, I think you might be interested in this? I, I think it seems like it's every day, but I would say two or three times a week, it seems like uh, maybe on an average people will bring something in or they will say do you want this do you want that uh, in fact one of the class members from the 73 that after they walked they hadn't been in the building and when they walked around they came back the, a couple of days later and brought their daddy's military uniform and military oh, medals and and some collections and some pictures right. and we have people bringing stuff in uh, we're actually getting crowded uh, I, I wish we need another building or we need a third and fourth right. floor, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. But people will bring stuff because they'll say their kids don't want it, but they want it preserved. So right. uh, I like the fact that we're now being seen as this is a depository. This is a place to bring something you want preserved well, forever. I mean, hence the name is history. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot well, of history. Right one now. of the nicer exhibits upstairs and i don't know if you talked about it before kennedy jewelries no. was on the square for years and years and years and mr kennedy recently passed away and his daughters uh donated a lot of the equipment and we've got a really nice jewelers display i mm. mean where we've got the engraving machine from wow. how many years ago we've got the ring sizers we've got some some watch crystals we've got a lot of stuff that you would have seen in an old jewelry store and this probably doesn't exist that, now yeah, that, probably that they, just yeah 
And they could have put it on eBay or they could have put it in a state sale and no, right. who knows where it would go to, but they chose to donate it to us. So it's available for Simpson Countyans and others to see it for right. years and years to come. So that's yeah. a neat.